Y'all, I did a live. I stayed on this mug for like an hour. And I hope that some of y'all got to view it. Because it was just so long or whatever. I'm going to have to do another one. Um, but anyways, I want to do this other, this reading. Um, this, this is what I'm going to eat. Um, this She's not as good. Do you hear me? Do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? I'm going to do another reading on this Gorilla Glue Girl. Um, last night when I finished, because I couldn't really get out what I wanted to say. And it was... um. I couldn't even get the words out. <laughs> but I meant to say genuine or whatever. If we do stuff that we know that is not in a great light, like it's a lot of people that did a lot of ugly stuff to get to the top. And what goes up when we doing it in a wrong or a bad manner, it comes down and it comes down fast. You know, some of even, you know, a lot of people that did a lot of things to get things and it haven't been in a great big light. So, you know, you can't blame her, but she was trying to, what God was telling me is she been trying to figure out for some months what she could do to get herself ahead, to get herself in the spotlight. She want to be known. She want to be seen. She want to be famous or whatever. And so she had been wrestling with whatever, you know, this thing before she put this Gorilla Glue in her hair. She had been wrestling with this particular situation for a moment. Like, this is something she been had on her mind. It didn't just pop up and, oh, I was going to get ready and go to the club. And I decided that I want to put Gorilla Glue in my hair or whatever because I didn't have any more, uh, like, um, gots to be glued or whatever spray or whatever. So... Everybody knows, you know, why do you think they're on in whatever the news channel is? Why do you think they're cracking jokes about it? Like everybody in history know that no one's going to go because it clearly states it on the can or on the bottle or whatever, not to put Gorilla Glue on your hair. So, you know, this woman, she's been... May, been you know she's been conjuring this up for a while y'all and that's what the Holy Spirit told me she can say whatever she want to I don't care if she get mad at me but it is the truth or whatever like this is something she's made up been contemplating on for a while and you know she you know she wants to you know This is something she been contemplating on for a while. That she and these people, they with the shits. I'm going to tell you. You know, low vibrational people, they amp up any damn thing. Do you hear me? Like, I don't know what the problem is. And they be giving all of this unknown recognition to people that really... In real life, they hearts are not pure. They are not good people. They are not like the internet and all of that. They thrive off of low vibrational people. A person can sit on here, get on here, and they could be and just got their whole ass story from a person that don't even got that many subscribers and go and repeat the story and go viral. 
That's how this shit works on the internet. I'm starting to peek it out, but guess what? My God got me. And guess what? All of them that wanted to see me down, they ass are going to be down and I'm going to be up. Trust and believe. It, like, whatever is going on in your life, period to die, just love yourself and do what you do. Because there's people out here hating anyway and don't want to see you do what you do. They feel that, oh, because this person been on the internet for four or five years, that they belong all, you know, that they, all the likes and all the subscriptions and all this stuff belong to them. No, baby. You got people that don't even have that many subscribers and these motherfuckers coming and taking their shit and going in and using it as a the headline of their motherfucking story and the shit going viral. I'm going to tell y'all that now. So you better wake up. There's some bullshit going on and I don't like it. God told me that this girl been planning this situation. She was thinking up the reason why the options was there. Oh shit, Snit. Damn. Damn. I need something. The reason why I'm The options was there was because damn, I'm gonna have to take this off and wash it. Oh my god. Wow. The reason why, you know, the options was there when I did the reading was because she was trying to figure out what she could do to put her name out there to get her and to get her some type of money to get her ahead. This is a woman, a single mother that in the past, she been through these relationships. She could have been a real good person when she started out. Like she was a lovable person. She was a lovable woman or whatever. You know, she didn't have people to take advantage of her and it made her heart cold. So all the time or whatever. Yes, yeah, she's fixing up. She fixed up herself and she got her. Like someone even lied or I don't know if it was a lie or what it was, but they even spoke on that. Um, they said that. Um, that. She said that she didn't even have an Instagram or a TikTok or a Snapchat or something like that. Um, they said that it was all lies or whatever, you know. What God told me, I don't even really have to pull the cards. I'm going to tell you. I read people and by her eyes or whatever, when I when her picture come across my YouTube, whatever, and I'm looking at her face like I was getting so many downloads, what God was telling me about her. You know, she didn't have men that took advantage of her. Or whatever this woman was trying to figure out a way to get herself ahead she want to be known she want to be in the spotlight she's ha she have always dreamed of becoming famous she was trying to figure out she's been contemplating on this what can she do to get her name out there and you know in the spotlight or whatever but if you're not being genuine about it god is like that emptiness is going to stay there. You're like, you're not helping yourself by doing whatever you did to even get your name out there to get, uh, to be on front street, to be, you know what I'm saying? Like she knew what she was doing. Like she did. So don't take it as though she didn't know. Like she's been those choices that was there in that reading. She had been trying to conjure up what she was going to do to get her name out there and get famous. So, you know, people can believe whatever they want, but It's true. So.
someone's going to communicate someone that I don't know that maybe she told a friend, someone close told somebody, someone or whatever that she had been contemplating on trying to figure up something to get herself out there in the public's eye or to get herself like a GoFundMe or to get, you know, donate or to get some type of, you know, she just tried it. She didn't think that it was going to go as far as it went to bless her game, to get her as much money and recognition that she wanted, but it did. And Ada Wong, someone is going to communicate this or whatever about this woman. And justice is going to be brought forward. I hope that, you know, people don't go back later or they don't communicate this and want their money back or, you know, want, you know, to get justice in regarding. But she's five of cups. She's going to be feeling sorrowful. And. People across the internet is, uh, you know, that's quite younger than her or whatever, um, could be communicating this or saying different stuff about this situation. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Tessica, I think that's her name. Uh, Father God, if you could just come in right now and give us a reading on the Gorilla Glue Girl. What was the reason in... Was she lying about this to get some type of attention or to be in the spotlight or to gain recognition or, you know, something of that nature? Choices was right on this damn court again. Seven of Cups. She been contemplating. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. This woman been contemplating on what she was going to do, what gimmick she was going to come up with to make her famous, put her out there, to make her be able to have choices, to make people look at her like in this bright light or feel sorry or something of that nature. Four of Swords, she had been um, contemplating on this. She's been, um, Four of Swords, she been... Um, Contemplating, resting up, reflecting on what she could do. Four of Swords. To get herself out of a situation. Because she been working hard or she been seeing other people work hard. It was in reverse the last time. But both of these cards right here, Six of Pentacles and... These ain't nothing but grimy people that want to reap someone else's hard work and benefit that they have done and that the light is being shined on or whatever. The scales is unbalanced or whatever. The scales is unbalanced. Okay, that shit that I, God forgive me for cussing. The stuff that I just got through telling y'all, y'all got to be careful because some of these subscribers and these folks is going in seeing other things that they know that is seeming so bright and shiny that people that don't have that many subscribers is doing. They know that these people got a lot of wisdom, knowledge, all of that. They taking their shit and using it like they came up with it, like it was something that came to their mind and something that they wanted to do. It was their idea this world is tricky and evil and people are out for nothing but illusions, evil, this, that, and the other, or whatever. No one is being legit. You got a bunch of fake ass people that ride with fake ass people. Jessica been sitting up there like a little rat while somebody been planting seeds 
You see those sheep back there? They really was wolves. Seven of Pentacles. Whoever then planted all these pentacles all around the universe, this person been sitting up there like a rat waiting to snatch it up. They want the fame. They want the recognition. They want to be in the spotlight. They want, and they've been contemplating on this, trying to figure out what they were going to do to get, take this all away from this person that's been working this hard, that's left empty. That's what that card is saying right there. Now, these scales is unbalanced here. And someone's been working real hard and someone wants to reap the harvest. Six of Pentacles. Someone wants to be looked at as though they got money. Da -da 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 -da. They say the girl didn't raise like $50,000 right now. And, you know... $50,000 or uh, whatever, um, that's a lot of money to go do something with. This person is 10 of swords. This person is a backstabber. She been sitting somewhere watching someone that got money or that is seen in the light that got pinnacles that know how to plant, grow, and manifest all these pinnacles. And she climbed her ass on up there. She been trying to figure out a way how she could get up there. This lady have backstabbed a lot, some people, or somebody, or she trying to. This Gorilla Glue stuff is... Um, Something that's been on this girl's mind or she was going to do something anyway to try to get herself out there. Five of one. This lady could be in a group setting or she's along with like a lot of other people that's fighting against someone else's prosperity. Is what I'm getting. And they're knights of ones. They're passionately doing it. Quite young. Quite immature. In and out. Always trying to conjure up something to do that's like dark. To bring. To gain them something that. You know. Could be a person that. You know. Got. A couple of different sexual partners. But a justice is going to come. In, in regarding to this situation so I hope her genuineness is legit cause what it's showing me here is somebody been a sneaky little rat snooping around watching somebody undercover all on social networks and stuff and they see this person as a manifester in their spiritual gifts and this person Tesca or whatever I think she needs healing um, like to love herself and you know need to try to get her cup filled up she's been watching someone else plant and harvest she feels stuck she been fighting for a long time to get herself out of this position that she's in uh, she just wanted out she's always been in third party situations when it came to money maybe giving more than what she was receiving seven of swords but she's been being deceptive and she's gonna leave back some evidence somebody in the spiritual realm is seeing what she's doing that's deceptive and how unequal the scales have been balanced out and how she like probably almost like trying to is trying to steal somebody's shine or Still, somebody else's recognition. She sees that someone else was about to be recognized or whatever, but all of this stuff is to do with devil energy. And someone else knows who this person is too. She need healing from her childhood wounds. Like I'm saying, she wanted she wanna have a high status quota because 
she's looking at somebody could be someone that's around her that is seen in a great big light that get more recognition and attention than her and she don't like it and that's why this lady did this it's something to do with something that's going on with her within uh, you can't tell me her study receiving heartbreaks is what it's to do may not be loving herself as much as she be claiming that she is she's been very tired of people putting her uh behind everyone else and not looking at her you know and she been trying to gain the strength to come up with something that she could do to make her be famous or make her be put her in the spotlight or you know make people look at her and love her because her heart have been broken like several times is what I'm getting here. The tower is going to come regardless. And she may get a little a little bit of money. Well, she got $50,000. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's what they said. But she needs to heal. And her world after this, her world is going to change. But someone that knows what she's doing... This is a Knight of Swords, and this is a Queen of Swords. This could be Tesca and someone else that's a Queen of Swords. The light is being shined up. She got that little light glare that's coming off of that sword. But this person in her mind is still kind of young, very flighty. You know, she tries to, you know, try to make it seem like she's not that person that would do something ugly like that. She's going to come in and try to speak something or whatever. But this Queen of Swords ain't playing with her and knows who she is. And the light is going to be shined on everything that this woman is doing. And she's going to be feeling soggy. And believe me when I tell you, when the Queen of Swords or whatever, she's going to fight that battle. She will cut you in places you ain't never seen before. And you won't even realize you cut before you even recognize it, whatever, uh, cut you down like a double-edged sword. The tower ain't coming for nothing. She's here to cut people down that's faking and fraudulent and not being truthful and telling lies and being deceptive and all of that. And she's willing to fight. She's willing to fight this battle and she will win. She's going to have a victory out of all of this because Whoever this other person is, is stuck. Eight of Swords. They feel stuck. They felt that they had to do something that was like not, you know, seen in a great big light. You know, it had to be deceptive. A passionate person that maybe go out with different partners or something or whatever. Don't just have no one person that they sleep with or date or whatever. I hate to put all of this up in this lady's reading, but passionate about sex but a justice is going to come in regarding to these options these things that she was plotting and planning to do to get herself out of the predicament that she's in like it's just crazy I mean everybody do need to eat and I I don't black it's in the uh, I don't blame Whomever, uh, for doing whatever, when you've been through all kinds of walks of life and been beat down, abused, and molested, and betrayed, and all of that, baby, when you hurting, there's no telling what you might not do. And look, y'all can't fault her either. Just go on about your business. I'm just telling y'all what it is. I know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Everybody need a break up out this hoe. You know, they need some hope. They need some love. They need some help. Because a lot of women, they go through it. You got to realize they go through it. And then they sit there and have those kids by them niggas. And them niggas go and get with somebody else. Like, you not good enough or something. Enough, you know. Wanna go get with someone that ain't got no kids or got one kids and you be done had about three of them and like it's hurtful. So, you know, y'all kinda can't blame them. And if people can't do anything to her, y'all, 
Shoot, she got those kids to take care of. Let her do her. For real. I'll be praying for everyone. God bless y'all. Have a great day.